Good afternoon. Right, so because it's nearly the end of the year, today in class, in my online class, I decided to play 20 questions because it's a fun game for the end of the year. But as the game went on, I realized that asking questions is not that easy for you. So let's look at how to ask questions in English. So I think basically it's difficult for you because you've got so lazy in French, right? There is a proper grammatical structure to your questions, but nobody bothers. In French, you just go, ta soif? Okay, and everybody knows that's a question. But in English, if you say, you are thirsty, it's not a question. It's just really bad grammar, okay? You need to put the verb and then the subject. That is a question. Are you thirsty? Are you hungry? Okay, am I crazy? No, but if you keep making these mistakes, I will be crazy. Right, so, other mistakes that you commonly make. So when you're using the auxiliary do in the present simple for your question, okay, so we would say, do you eat frog's legs? No, we don't, or maybe yes, we do, I'm not sure. Okay, but if I wanted to ask about he or she, I would say, for example, does Mrs. Kazot love her dog? Please note, I did not say, does Mrs. Kazot loves her dog? Right, because the S is already on, does. Okay, so it's not does, and then another S on the other verb. No, 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 just the S on does. And the same for a question in the preterite. Okay, did you watch the film last night? Not did you watched the film last night, because did is already in the past tense. Okay, so please stop doing that. It's not that difficult. English is so much easier than French. Okay, and then, you know, the question words that we always use. So, where does Mrs. Kazot live? Mrs. Kazot lives in La Genève. When did Mrs. Kazot come to France? She came to France in 1999. Why? Did Mrs. Kezot come to France? Mrs. Kezot came to France because she fell in love. Uh, what are the other ones? Who did she fall in love with? Right? Who did she fall in love with? Oh, well, she fell in love with Mr. Kezot. That's quite clear. Right? But be careful because when you're asking a question with who and the answer is going to be the subject of the answer, you do not use the auxiliary. You do not use do or did. Okay, so for example, if I were to ask you, who teaches you English? Right, Mrs. Kazot teaches me English. So there it's the subject is Mrs. Kazot, the answer that we're looking for. So it's who teaches me English? Not who does teach you English? No, 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 no. Oops, oh, I'm getting bugs in my eye. Um, what else can I ask you? How long? Has Mrs. Kazot been teaching at Kuprin? Mrs. Kazot has been at Kuprin for two years. And I could ask the question, whose beautiful dog is that? Right, so that's the possessive. Mm, that's my beautiful dog. Of course, we all know Bucky, my little darling. Okay, so try to remember those basic rules when you are asking questions. Do not ask me. You are you are thirsty, madame? No. You want to come to a picnic, madame? No. Do you want to come to a picnic with us, madame? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let's fix a date. Right, I will speak to you again tomorrow.